Hi, Power BI now has small multiple charts like the one you can see on the screen here. I think they're a great thing. They allow us to create a new and different set of visualizations that give a lot more insight to our users. On the screen, this example, we can see what we're looking at is the growth of public transport in London over the last decade. And what we've got is lots of small charts. Each chart represents or looks at a particular journey type, a bus or underground. So we can see, for example, that DLR has been a success story over the last 10 years, whereas Emirates Airline, uh, the cable car, is a different story. Previously, what we might have had to have done is create a chart like this. Instead of having several small charts, we have one large chart with several lines. I think that's a bit confusing and I think that the small multiple charts are a lot better. Let's take small multiples for a spin and let's build our first small multiple charts from scratch. If you'd like to recreate this yourself, then there's links to the data sets and worked example Power BI files in the comments below. Let's look at the data set we're going to use to build our first small multiples chart. And it's from the UK coronavirus website. It's a very familiar chart to people watching the news in the UK. It's a stat bar chart. It shows the number of cases over the last several months in the UK. And each color represents a different country of the UK. What I've done is I've come over here and I've downloaded the CSV file into Power BI Desktop. We're here in Power BI Desktop. I've created a small lookup table, a country table with four rows, each one of the countries of the UK. And I've got their population, capital city, and also official color. That's the color that you saw for the country in the bar on the bar chart. This is the data that I've imported for each country for every date from 10th of December going back about nine months. I've got the number of cases date on, on the day and I've calculated the case rate as a measure that's simply the number of cases divided by the population for the country multiplied by 100,000 to give us the number of cases per 100,000 of population. Let's quickly recreate that stack bar chart we saw in the website and then we will morph it into the small multiples chart. So here we are I've just recreated that chart date on the axis, country on the legend, and the a number of daily cases on the values. And we see the very similar chart to the one on the website. Now notice what we've got here for the first time is this small multiples well on our fields pane. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag country from the legend into our small multiples field. There we go. And we have our first small multiple charts. We've got charts for each country. Not particularly useful at the moment because England's population is so much larger than the other three countries that it tends to dominate. But if we use our case rate rather than our daily cases, then we get a much better comparison. There we go. Now let's improve our small multiple chart. And the way that we're going to do that is with these new sections in our properties pane small multiple title and grid layout we'll start with small multiple title first of all and this allows us to change the layout especially of the title so i can center it i can add a make it a different color and i can make it a, a bigger size we can also change the grid layout by default we've got two by two but I could also perhaps do one by four and that maybe allows us to look at the various uh, case rates and compare them across countries. I could also experiment with four by one and that allows me to show the kind of trends over time and compare them across countries. As a final improvement, it would be nice to have the colors that we saw in the public website for each of the different countries. And there's a few ways we can do that. First of all, we might think that we can take our country table, country column, and just drag it onto our legend there. Unfortunately, it seems that column can't do WT both as on small multiples and on legend. But 
what we can do is we've got a proxy column here capital city every country has a different capital city so I can put that under the legend and we get our colors of course I can just come along and then I can come into my data colors and set my data colors as I would like of course we can't depend on having a proxy column like the capital city so let's just go and create a duplicate column of the country column I'm created a new calculated column I'm going to call it country legend and now that it's there I'm going to use that on the legend and there we go in our case there is the final and in fact best way of doing this because we have in our data the official color color code in our country table so what we can do is not use the legend at all but go to our data colors here and use the dynamic values and this way we're going to simply choose a field value and that field value is going to be our country official color there and here we have we've got our colors and we've got exactly the right colors that we had in the website small multiples are an important new capability one that's going to be very useful for us a caveat however small multiples are in preview and at the time of this recording December 2020 they this is the first time that we've seen them and there are a few limitations at the moment for example, we can create small multiples of bar charts and line charts and their variations, but not yet of other visual types like scatter plots. I'm sure that over time, the small multiples will increase in functionality over the coming months. And we will produce videos when they do that. I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. If you have, please do subscribe to the London Business Analytics Group YouTube channel and do tell your friends and colleagues about it. Thank you.